the, the question would come here, as you say, the USA already implemented this culture because they are not new like us in Germany. But it was 50 years ago, maybe 70 years ago, they were like Germany. The people who came 70 years ago, so they struggle and then they developed and they now they have the fruits of the table. Yes, true, 100%, 100%, yes. When the... How you, what do you think about Yes, but in 50 years, it might become like that, maybe for the next generation. But at the moment, it's not like that. And one of the problems is not like that. It's the nationalism. When people immigrate to the U.S., they see themselves as Americans because the American identity is an immigrant identity. So they don't hold back to their. So they say, OK, I'm American of this origin. OK, but they see themselves first as Americans who live in the U.S. Immigrants here in Germany still come to Germany and they might be first, second, third generation and they st even they would have the German passport and everything. And they know German quite well, perfectly, probably. They still they say, see themselves as I'm Bangladeshi, I'm Lebanese, I'm Moroccan, I'm Turkish, I'm Kurdish. They still hold to their national identity. And as long as they're holding to their national identity, there is actually, in my opinion, very little chance or opportunity or to build a Muslim community, because there is no one group that is dominant. So if there will be any Muslim community, it has to be a community of all those people together. The Bangladeshi, the Indian, the Pakistani, all of, they, you can't bring the nationalities into it. Otherwise, no group is going to be strong enough to actually build any community. So you leave your nationality behind, you come to Germany and say, you know what, I'm going to become German. I'm a Muslim in Germany, and hence I build a Muslim community in Germany. Not I am not replicating the Bangladeshi community in Germany. Because if you want to replicate that experience, many tried before. There are those who came here before tried, and it failed all of them. There is no one successful community which tried to replicate their home country in Germany. Uh, so if they want to come, this idea of having a, a Bangladeshi community is not going to work. Because I've seen, I've seen a lot of Indians, because they are Indians, so they are Hindus people. They are replicating German cultures. They are celebrating Christmas. Personally, as a Muslim, I believe uh, Muslims have some principles. And I also want to integrate with Germans, not to follow their religions, but to integrate with them. How can Muslims people integrate with them? Or what is the best practices? I Muslims wouldn't have? say... Personally, I would not say that there's any problem with being Muslim in Germany, but, but here's a big but. Uh, most people conflate their religion with their culture. So they want the Asian, Bangladeshi, Indian, Pakistani, Arabic, Turkish culture, part of their religion. They think it's part of their religion. And they come to Germany, they think <coughs> uh, they bring those traditions with them, this culture, which is not Islamic culture in a way. Okay, it's a local culture in a local country for local conditions that has an Islamic overview on top of it. But if a German becomes Muslim, what would be different? I mean, like if a, we have German converts who do become Muslim, and if you talk to them, you would say, why, ask them, like, why would a German convert start to wear jubba or anything like that? It doesn't make any sense here in Germany. It's not part of their culture. So if you come back from, you, you know, if you come from an Asian country to here and you want to wear your jubba and you want to wear your whatever traditional clothing because you think it's an Islamic clothing, and this is the idea of Islamic clothing, okay, or the burqa, whatever it is, okay, uh, to Germany and think, ah, oh, I'm bringing, um, this is Islam. And this is, no, it's not Islam. That's your culture. And then if you go to Japan or any other country, uh, they have a different interpretation of that culture. So. When you come, you have to change. Obviously, there is no doubt about that. There will be a lot of changes. And then you have to have a very retrospective kind of meditation on what is really Islam and what is my culture. And then you have to separate both of them. Come with the Islam, leave the culture out. And if you come with the Islam, you will be fine because you will be fine anywhere. There is no country. Let's say you come here, you don't want to eat pork. There's so much, many vegetarian options. You know, don't come here, oh, there's no halal food. You can be vegetarian. There's no problem, you know, of it's nothing for, you know, makes it force you to eat meat everywhere. Okay, let's say you come here, you don't want to drink. That's fine. I mean, there's a lot of Germans who don't drink. There's nothing that stops you from being a Muslim in Germany. So, but. You're going to come with a culture and say, oh, I work, we do this this way and the Germans do it differently. And then you want to superimpose your religion on the culture, then it's not going to work out. Then, you know what? Stay at home, let's say.